Hey there, story lovers. Welcome back to another thrilling chapter of our tale. Today, we're diving into the magical world of Coral Cove, where the sun sets in a golden blaze over shimmering waters. Our heroes, a girl with seaweed green hair and a boy with sandy hair and warm brown eyes, are about to embark on an adventure that will test their courage and friendship. They're gathered in Elder Shelley's Grotto, a place filled with mystery and wonder. So, buckle up and get ready for a journey that will take you to the depths of the ocean and beyond. Let's dive in. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the shimmering waters of Coral Cove, a girl with seaweed green hair and a boy with sandy hair gathered once more in Elder Shelley's Grotto. The air was thick with anticipation, the kind that prickled at the skin and made the heart race. The girl clutched the ancient snow globe tightly, its glass surface reflecting the vibrant colors of the underwater world. The boy stood beside her, a cautious frown etched on his face. The thrill of adventure danced in the girl's eyes, while the boy's thoughtful expression betrayed his unease. What if we get stuck in there? The boy's voice trembled slightly, a stark contrast to the girl's bubbling enthusiasm. What if it's not just memories? What if it's a trap? The girl, undeterred by the boy's fears, grinned widely. But think of the memories we could relive. The glow parade last year, the time we found that hidden cave. We can't let fear hold us back. With a deep breath, the boy nodded, though doubt still lingered in his heart. The children took turns peering into the globe, each time witnessing a kaleidoscope of colors and sounds that enveloped them like a warm embrace. Laughter echoed as they relived cherished moments, but soon, the atmosphere shifted. The vibrant hues began to swirl chaotically, and the joyous sounds morphed into a dissonant cacophony. Suddenly, the world around them shifted, and they found themselves trapped within a memory of a past festival. The colors were brighter, the music louder, yet an undercurrent of panic surged through the boy as he realized they could not escape. The once familiar faces of their friends now appeared as fleeting shadows, lost in the swirling chaos of nostalgia. We need to get out, the boy shouted, his voice barely cutting through the overwhelming noise. The girl's adventurous spirit faltered as she grasped the gravity of their situation. The memory trap was not just a portal to the past. It was a prison, and the walls were closing in. As the children navigated the enchanting yet disorienting landscape, they felt the weight of their fears pressing down upon them. The vibrant festival, once a symbol of joy, now felt like a gilded cage. The boy's heart raced, and he turned to the girl, determination igniting in his eyes. We have to confront this together. We can't let the past hold us back. With a newfound resolve, the girl nodded. Her adventurous spirit reignited. They would face the memory trap head-on devising a plan to confront their fears and escape the clutches of nostalgia. The swirling colors around them pulsed with energy, a reminder that while memories were precious, living in the present was the true adventure. Together, they would find a way out, not just for themselves, but for the spirit of Coral Cove that thrived on the balance between past and future.